Hi guys, you're going to take your bag, go ahead and stretch it out, make it as flat as you can. Then you're going to take your paper. Make sure you gather all your materials before you begin. Okay, you're gonna need markers and you're gonna need some uh, sort of spray bottle. You are going to separate the markers that you need. You need um, black, green, blue, and purple, not yellow. Black, green, blue, purple. You are going to begin with the color green. And you are just going to scribble a section. Make sure that it's a thick section. Scribble, 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 scribble. It does not have to be completely covered. Then you're going to continue with blue. You can overlap a little bit. Scribble, 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 scribble. A thick section, guys. Very good. And make sure that you overlap a little bit. Then purple, scribble, overlap, scribble. If your bag looks a little bit like mine, where there's a lot of white spots, don't worry. With the water, it will spread. Scribble, scribble, scribble. And the last color is gonna be black. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Does not have to be completely covered. I repeat. Go all the way to the top. All the way to the top. Very good job. And this is going to create a watercolor effect. Get your spray bottle with water and spray, 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 spray. Get your paper, set it down, and rub your paper nicely. Oh wow, I can already see that it's turning out great. Go ahead and rub it really good, really good. If you get marker on your hands, don't worry. You can always wash your hands. Lift up your paper. Wow, look at that. Amazing. Go ahead and put it to dry and you are done. Make sure that your paper is drying in a flat surface. Bye, guys.